right guys what's going on welcome back to the channel welcome to this video um i figured i'd just show you guys a little bit on uh how this thing drives and uh how this transmission shifts and um how pretty amazing it, this thing actually is for i mean for what it is it's uh it's a lot of fun and it works really well but uh i'm gonna let it warm up right now as you can see on the dash oil is pretty cold so i'm gonna let it warm up a little bit and i'll try doing some wide open throttle pulls with it and i'm gonna use the paddles and see if i can get better with that because there's a slight delay when you hit it i mean it's it's not like a, a dct whatsoever um but it's still pretty fun nonetheless using the paddles and that's how i like doing it but once the car is making more power and all that stuff i'm definitely probably not going to use them anymore i'll just let the car do its thing um but yeah it's hot as hell out here today guys so bear with me i got the ac on right now the cooled seats i'm chilling it feels good in here but once i floor it i'll shut everything off but yeah let this thing warm up crazy how good this thing sounds for a stock exhaust obviously that's in track mode but this thing still sounds pretty good can't wait to get something else on it like uh take the cats off put some headers on here um there's a couple different uh muffler choices i'm looking at someone some of these cars just sounded crazy raspy and just real tin canny sounded but there's a couple that i've seen that i really like nice and deep nice throaty um i think i'm gonna go with them but yeah, this thing's gonna sound crazy. Especially with some boost. I can't wait. I cannot wait. Woo! This thing feels like an animal in drag strip mode. Holy crap! <laughs> These paddles are fun. Holy crap. That was awesome. <laughs> for a stock car, this thing's kind of fast. I mean, for what it is, once I learned the different modes, because so far, drag strip mode feels the strongest. I mean, obviously it makes sense, but the shifts are more crisp, more precise. And I mean, you just seen it just chirp second or third, whatever gear that was. I got a hundred gears. I don't even know which one I'm in. It was probably third or second, but that was awesome. That was awesome. Oh shit. And I left the AC on by accident. <laughs> I think it shuts off after a certain RPM anyway, but damn, that's what I love about this thing. It's fun, it's quick, it's got a lot of potential and I still got all the creature comforts. I mean, my ass is cold right now. I got I got the air conditioned seats on. It's over 90 degrees outside. This is crazy. I mean, I'm just talking. I've never had anything new like this, so I, that's why it's just a big deal to me. So it's pretty cool to have performance and comfort. Um, I mean, don't get me wrong. Obviously, the vet was really nice too. I loved my Z06, and uh, I'll never talk crap on those cars. They're awesome. But this is just this is awesome.
to turn stability control off. It was getting a little sideways right there. Now I'm in seventh. Yeah. You ready? I was born ready. <laughs> Not bad, right? See how fast it shifts? Not as fast as the vet, but it's still pretty cool. So now I can just put it back in drive. I go up here, bam, normal mode, and we're chilling. It'll do everything for me now. I don't have to use the paddles if I don't want to, but I still could. It was like, ah! <laughs> yeah, I, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Pretty cool. I can't wait to add some power to it. Probably makes not even 400 wheel right now, Pop. Really? I thought it made about 4, 425. Well, they're at 460 at the crank from the factory. Oh, okay. So it's about, I don't know, high, maybe high threes, maybe low th mid threes on at the wheel. I don't know. I don't know how much this auto loses, but I'm sure it's a lot. But with the tune, intake, and exhaust, it'll be near 400 wheel. But, you know, once I boost, it'll be a different story. Supercharger, turbo, or whatever I do. It'll be pretty cool. That's what's cool about this thing. It rides so good. It's so smooth. All the technology. But, yeah, I can't wait for that with some more power. Um, I mean, even just a tune is going to wake this whole thing up. It's going to make the trans more responsive. Um, it, everything. It's just going to change the whole dynamic of the car. The way it feels, the way it shifts, the way it drives. But it's still going to maintain the stock drivability, which is really cool, which is a badass thing. Um, pretty excited. So, obviously, the, the, the main goal for this thing would be uh, twin turbos or something. But I just don't know. I, I just don't know. I've never had a turbo car. I don't know the ins and outs of turbo systems. I mean, they're pretty simple, obviously, but especially on a Gen 3 Coyote platform, I don't really know too much about them. I understand they have the mid-mount kits, they have the ones that go up front, obviously. Um, but I would only like to make around 800 wheel. I think this car on 800 wheel with the 10 speed would be a pretty car, pretty hard car to beat from a roll. Um, it, it'll probably be as fast as my vet, if not just a little bit faster. Uh, draggy time-wise, since everybody likes that shit now, um, a 60 to 130 in the fours would be would be amazing. Uh, that that would be the main goal with this thing. So maybe like a high four. I think it's very doable. I don't think that's too out of the realm of possibilities for this thing, but you never know. Uh, here we go. But yeah, that's the goal so far. I got a couple little things on the way, and uh, just gonna start with basic bolt-ons. Just go from there. Going to get some runs in while it's still fairly stock and uh, just have some fun with it. So I thought this might be a little cool video for you just to get more in detail about the car and see how the transmission shifts and everything like that. But keep in mind, this is the stock tune. This is the stock trans tune, stock everything. Stock airbox, stock exhaust, I, stock tires. I got street tires on this thing. I, it's Everything is stock. So bear with me, guys. It'll get there. Obviously, I want to put some welds on this thing, but it's going to take a little bit. Um, I'd love to do another beadlock setup, but we'll see. I don't know. We'll see what I got in store for it. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button for me. Hit that like button. And uh, let me know what you guys think. I've been reading a lot of the comments. A lot of you guys are really mad that I got a, uh, got a Mustang, got a Ford. I, I understand. It is what it is. But like I said, I like cars. Um, Fords, Chevys, uh, hell, I even like some Dodges. Uh, I wouldn't buy one just personally because it's just not my style. I wouldn't buy one. But I, you know, I do. The Hellcat platform is proven and can be really fast, which they are also auto, by the way. There are some manual ones, but a lot of the faster ones are auto. Um, uh, I, I even love some imports. I love Supras, Skylines. I mean, who doesn't like those cars? But like I said, um, bear with me stick around check the car out 
I'm telling you, you guys won't be disappointed. And uh, stay tuned for some more races, more runs. And uh, we're just getting started, guys. But anyway, thank you for everything. Thanks for all the comments and all the support. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks a lot.